Welcome everyone to Silent, a place here in Second Life that we're taking a look at today. And already you can tell by the outside of the regions that we have a nice little media effect back here. Which uh, is one of the rare times I actually turn my media on, because usually it's video based and whatnot. But they actually have a really nice little styling for the mountains if you have it on. And there's a nice little purple starlight kind of look for the sim as well. And we're going to be exploring this place today. So I think we'll go ahead and start on this side of the region and work our way to the other side. And we got a nice little bed here as well. I've had this place on my list for a little bit now. Um, well, that's pretty pixelated underneath the water. That's neat. This seems to be more of a phonogenic type of sim. The info on it says that you can do things like photos and machinimas and things like that along the lines. Guess somebody left a lot of things in deploy mode here. The world is not a box. That is true. It is a sphere. We'll go ahead and take a look up here and through the window. You can see a nice view of the psychedelic mountains over there once again. Definitely a neat little effect. We also have these, uh balls dropping down from the sky and falling into the water here which is interesting because it's not really something you expect so much to find on a random sim is that there's just balls dropping from the sky and roaming around the water basically Yeah, we got a few uh, broken or even tiled type of statues here. This one holding a guitar, and this one seems to be sleeping or resting on, on this cracked piano here. The arm seems to be... These statues seem to have like parts of them that are like cracking away. I always kind of wonder how all these types of effects take place, because they're rather interesting. This one seems to be made out of stone, though, though the face is cracking as well. That's neat. There's also another one on the ground here, though this one seems to be heavily cracked up. Random stool here. And we got a horse that seems to be, I don't know, I guess melting into the ground. That's kind of what it looks like. It's a bit darker than uh, everything else, so it's a little bit harder to see. It looks like we have a broken wall over this way. And we can also see the shooting stars going across the sky. This has really nice, like, sky has a really nice wind light and it has nice sky effects too. Another cracked statue here. This one seems to be not as cracked as the other ones. Go ahead and hop on this and see if there's anything up this way. Well, I see a crow at least. I eh, need to. Guess I had to do a little hop there. And we can see back here we have a giant panda next to a picture of the United States.
quite a kind of a strange combination, to be honest. And we got a bed here that's surrounded by stars on the ground. And there's some stars in the sheets as well. We got this giant mouth here. As if a person's coming up from the depths for air or something like that. We got a little bit of something here. Some more statues that appear to be doing... I guess it could be say that they're... Uh, can actually, like, get on that. Huh. I guess these are heads, all going towards that one that's sitting in the water. They're right next to where all the... These things are dropping around in the water. Hmm. Guess we'll go ahead and go over this mountain here that's, uh, has a heart on it, which is neat. There's a little bit of stuff over this way, so we'll go ahead and take a look at that. This appears to be like a swing set or something like that. Though it's in the middle of the air for some reason. Hey, right, here we go. This appears to be more of an out a tower I'd see in like a zombie survival skim or something like that. Interesting to see it here, I guess. Looks like there's a an apartment block. It's kind of what that looks like, but this appears to be just an alleyway placed here. Not quite sure why this would be here, but it looks pretty nice to be honest. Can't go through all any of these doors though. And the one right in front of us just goes straight into the mountainside, it looks like. We'll go ahead and leave that behind and head up to this house here. Which perhaps somebody lives in this, I'm not quite sure. Actually, doesn't look like uh, much is going on in here, actually. Huh. No, it's a pretty empty house. I assume you could probably put red stuff here and, uh... Make photos of stuff in the house as well. Go ahead and pop out this door. And at this point, the only stuff that we have left to look at is over on this corner of the sim over here. We have like an island looking kind of thing. And then we have this little bit of stuff in the center as well. And I think I just crossed a parcel or something like that because the island media effects just turned off. 
So at least gives you an idea of what it would look like when it's turned off, at least. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look in here. This looks pretty nice. I like the styling of this, where it's like a house inside of an abandoned uh, train or something along those lines. Uh, saw another ball drop. Okay, media lights are back on. I like them on instead of off, so... Oh, that's a colorful guitar case there. And we got some effects on the flooring here, which actually looks pretty nice. A lot of little blue stars. And we'll go ahead and move over towards this, uh... Yeah, we'll actually head over to what looks like kind of a ruined studio, almost, I assume. So it looks like to me, anyways. Oh, we got a suitcase and some dressers, tables, things along those lines. Also got this little shop-like thing here that might have been for like drinks or something at one point. Either that or like a ticket booth. Oh, we got a doorbell. Nothing back here though. We can go take a look upstairs and see what's going on up there. Light switch doesn't work. There's another door this way, too. Yeah, that's one of these little house things. I got something similar to this, but it's like a haunted house, and it comes with, uh... different animations. That just leads back outside, so I guess we'll just go ahead and take a peek up here, which doesn't look like there's a whole lot going on. A random piece of wall right in the middle of the studio. Couple of drawings. Statue of Liberty. That's a nice drawing. And some more walls over here. This may have been left over by somebody else, it perhaps. And we'll just go ahead and take a look at this island bit over here, which is quite a bit over top of the rest. Oh, I guess these are in place to keep the balls from going too far off track, I guess. And here we have what appears to be a broken sword along with a book next to it. Is there any way up this way besides flying? Oh, a little a nice little path up this way. 
Looks like we have a nice view of the sim from up here as well. Can hear the fire crackling. There's a little altar thing here as well. And I'm having a bit of a freeze up it looks like. Oh, it took a moment, but I recovered. Let's take a look over here at the other altar, which looks like it's surrounded by stones. Like a mini stone hedge or something like that. Nice view of the sky. And this stone is just sparkling out a ray of light onto this altar here. Looks rather nice. Especially with the little movements of my AO, it makes the makes it sparkle on their own, the little dots. Because they react to movement, I think. Well, this was a nice little sim. I always like to get the different ones, and I do run into quite a few photogenic sims of a sort. And this one looks particularly nice, too. In any case, this was silent. Oh, I like that shadowing behind me in front of the fire. That's pretty nice. Okay, so I enjoyed our time here. I hope you did too. And I will see you guys in the next Second Life Travels video. Coming out here real soon.